This video is for part 3 of lesson number 2 that is uses of a computer. In part 2 we have done till page 16. Now in this part we will continue our chapter with page number 17. This is page number 17. Next use is using the internet. You can search information on any topic on the computer by using internet. So you can search any information like you can search for your syllabus if you need help uh, while doing in homework and you are not understanding any word or any topic then you can search information related to it on internet. Or any other information like for example news updation, maps, world updation, uh, games, study re related material, projects, pictures, anything. You can easily search on the internet. Next is chatting. You can chat with your friends and family members by ex exchanging type message on the computer chatting means exchanging messages with friends or family members like on very famous app called whatsapp you must have seen your parents or siblings chatting with their friends on whatsapp right so chatting is one of the uses of computer you can chat with your friends anywhere in the world by using the right program on the computer next is page number 18 sending and receiving messages you can send and receive messages to from your friends and relatives anywhere in the world within a few seconds you can also get a reply from them so sending and receiving messages is some way similar to chatting all right it is similar to chatting so sending is when you send message to your friend from your computer Suppose you are sitting on computer A and your friend is sitting on computer B. Now you send the message from your computer to computer B, your friend's computer. And then receiving messages means when your friend on another computer gets your message and reply or send response to you. Alright. Sending means you are sending any message to your friend and receiving means that your friend is replying to your messages. Okay, so that is sending and receiving messages. Next is saving. You can store your work in a computer for future use. Once you store your work, it will never be lost. You can review your work anytime later. Saving is one of the most important use of computer. You can store your work, any work, your homework, your photos, your videos, anything in it. And you can review or check or open it anytime later, even after years. It, it will never be lost. Okay, so once you store your data in your computer, it will never be lost. Okay, so that's it. We are now done with this chapter. That is ch chapter number, uh, chapter uses of computer. Now in our next video we will do our question answers book exercise 
or extra question answers. All right.